discuss Disney Princess series with them. For our history, David Oki from Digital Spy finds that finds revenue of Disney Princess movies can vary from the lowest being 52.6 million to the highest being 722.9 million. Sydney Buckstorm from Entertainment states that after 55 Years of White, Disney Princess Jasmine was the first princess of color in 1992. John McBride from Brigham Young University finds that 96% of girls and 87% of boys have viewed Disney Princess Museum. This graph from Daily Mail shows how the lighter skin tone princesses are preferred over the princesses with darker skin tone, which shows why they make more profit. Also having the, the lighter skin tone of the lighter skin color is being preferred over Tiana and Jasmine with them being the the ones with darker skin tone and darker hair color. Overall, this establishes the differences made between princesses because of their looks. This has led us to our research question. To what extent are racial stereotypes shown in Disney princess movies affecting children? To fully understand the extent of the issue, the social events must be taken into consideration. The first, occupational learning. So according to psychologist Alva Bandura, learning occurs by observing behavior and action, as well as the consequences of the behavior and modeling the behavior. And apart from real life interactions, children learn social skills and how to how to be behave and interact with the world around them by watching characters on television. Then seven out of the 11 princesses are white. So following the lack of representation, the only princesses of color are stereotypical and have more masculine traits and being known as the warrior princesses, while the white princesses are depicted as dainty and more feminine and well-mannered according to reporter Medicine Heart. So Disney produces one third of the market uh, for children's films. And so as a aforementioned, 96% of girls as well as 87% of boys have viewed the Disney Princess movie. And as mentioned before, children learn by observing. So thanks to, ch thanks to Disney's large franchise, it has a great impact on what children grow up to believe, whether that is the right way to act or their self-worth. The economical list must also be considered. After mention from OP, princesses who were white colored produced more box office than those of color. For example, Cinderella produced 294.2 million, Merida produced 237.2 million, while Mulan produced 120.6 million, and Tiana produced 104.4 million. Maureen Shaw contributed to Identity Mike, found a report which compared eBay sales of Disney Princess merchandise. Also from Frozen has brought in 3.4 million, and princesses like Tiana and Jasmine have fallen behind. John Matteries from ABC's a reporter and a reporter from ABC's Fanatic found that black dolls sell less and are handcrafted, which is why they cost more. In 2014, a father found that a white doll cost three times the price of the same white doll in Target. Sharon K. Matthew from the Christian Science Motor found that dolls are dominated based on their figure and white beauty ideals, despite a huge potential market for racially diverse dolls. This shows that white princesses and white dolls have always been on top and, pre and preferred, while colored princesses and colored dolls have been looked down or left in the shadows. After learning the extent of the issue, <clears throat> we came up with two potential solutions, the first one being to foster a more diverse workspace. Studies have shown that when there is a greater diversity, it leads to happier and more productive employees, as well as a more socially ethical environment. Some of the implications are better financial performance. So studies from, well, data collected from 366 companies showed that showed a significant correlation between diversity and financial performance, which held true in reverse, meaning that whenever there was more diversity in the workplace, they did better by financially, while as when there was less diversity, it led to less revenue. And however, some of the limitations include proper training, so being able to get everybody well adjusted to working with new people and from different cultures, so having an open mind, as well as covering every culture, not every culture will be covered, so there's still gonna be some gaps between the information. So considering that the lack of Considering that the number of limitations outweighs the number of implications, we came up with a stronger solution, which is to research cultures more profoundly. This solution may be limited, 
maybe limited by financial support. So because you had to hire people who would be committed to the project, as well as transportation and, and resources. However, the solution may lead to cultural accuracy increasing and stereotypes decreasing. This was tested for the movie, for the making of the movie Moana, and although it was still, still, um, it still received backlash for the character of Maui being too stereotypical of a Pacific Island man, it still did extraordinarily well, making over $645 million, and the second most, the second most out of the Princess of Color, which could have been improved if they had researched the culture more, like further, and more into depth. This chart shows the different princesses, which kids will find to be their favorite. And the top ones are all white princesses. However, the however Moana is the second most popular one out of the princesses of color, probably due to it being more inclusive and because they researched, they actually went through the trouble to research the culture. So in conclusion, racial stereotypes and lack thereof in Disney princess movies is a problem that negatively, negatively affects children's development by making them believe certain beauty standards, self-worth, and the forms of behaving. To support this, this slide scope, slide scope template even only included um, pictures of white princesses. If you go back through, it's only pictures of white princesses. And however, this issue may be amended by the implementation of researching cultures more profoundly before the making of the movie. Thank you very much. It's very nicely done. We'll get started with the Q&A here. Okay. Um, Amy, I'm going to start with you. Um, Amy, would you please describe an argument from your peers' individual research report that made you think differently about your team's solution or conclusion? So one of the arguments that Valeria included in her, um, her overall research was the pricings of dolls. So this made me think differently about the situation because it goes as far as to toys and Thank you very much. And Valeria, um, please give me one specific way in which your thinking changed as a result of learning about Amy's findings. One specific way that um, did, sorry, can you repeat it again? Please. Yes. Um, would you please give me one specific way that your thinking changed as a result of learning about Amy's findings? One specific way that my community learned through Amy's findings is that children um, learn through they see on TV. So whatever they see on from Disney Princess, they learn and absorb. And that learning comes from um, modeling and they learn from it it goes into three stimuli, which shows um, that learning from learning on TV shows the like how they learn. Thank you very much.